We are taking our first family drive in the new car. Leaving our house. It's so big. This is our view out of the driveway. Can you see that giant mountain? I was told that you belong on the riverside. Looking far from being strong. I love how I'm always overexposed. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, there I have some color. So, yeah, leaving our driveway. It's a little unnerving sometimes, but it's better in this van than it was in the rental van. We had like a, was it a 12, 14 passenger van? 14. And the longer body made it harder to go over our driveway without scraping every time so this is an improvement yeah it's an improvement and this this is really steep this is how steep it is I mean this is this is like how we are we're aimed up like at the sky this is the sky this is us like if the ground is flat but perpendicular to the car which actually the car is really struggling right now I probably should drive not talk there we go incline here so this is our first family outing minus grandma to go to a store the girls haven't been to a store here yet we got here on a Saturday the stores close at noon on Saturday except for like the convenience stores which are more like a dollar general the stores that have more things like we need close at noon on Saturday and they close at 5 during the week so we're trying to make it to a store before five because we would like to get a microwave, some hangers, and we need some linen still, and a pot to cook in, just some things like that to uh, help us get settled in. All our stuff is still in suitcases. And Grandma's calling. Grandma's messaging. Hello? Okay, so Grandma just uh, use messenger to call us for the first time to tell us to get a broom at the store and then Evangeline said we have a broom in our laundry room which we haven't really gone in there yet so we didn't notice but we're trying to find out describe the broom Evangeline um, so it's like um, it has a stick at it and then it looks like through really long pieces of hay like just sticking out the way it's together it's just like it, it is all slammed together um but it's just pointy it looks like but it looks like it could do some good sleeping <laughs> what? so really long pieces of hay so it might be more like the traditional Samoan style which is called the salu you want a broom or you want a salu <laughs> broom salu i think I know better how to use a broom. <laughs> Don't lie, you do not. <laughs> hey. uh. So we asked Fia if she would go look in the oh, laundry can room. Can I tell them this? Yeah. Okay, so we asked um, Grandma if she can go look in the laundry room, and she was like, wait, outside? And Dad said, yeah, and she was like, no! <laughs> yeah, she's scared of the dogs, the bugs, Hi, geckos, walking. and the lizards. <laughs> I don't know how she ever lived in Samoa growing up. But anyway, she's cute. That's funny. So what store are we going to? I think it's called SSAB. I don't know what it stands for. Oh, Samoan Stationery and Books, oh, yeah. I think. I think that's what it is. We were guessing before, but then I actually saw it on the map and it said something like that. We were like, Superstore Apia Building. <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> we were wrong. Good guess, though. So, yeah. SSAB, here we come. You girls gonna be good, right? Uh, sure. Hey, 
You want to come back to the store, you better be good. Called a Serena, and he just said his first girlfriend was Serena. But that's that's news to me. I thought it was someone else. Serena Minton. You knew you met the Mintons. The Mintons. Yeah, their daughter. Woo! Ammo got a Moana doll, and I got a cosmic jet racer because I'm a little car. Yeah, and then I got that. What'd you girls think of the big store? That was the nicest store. Mommy's been in since we've been here. You girls are lucky to go there first. Yep. It was air conditioning. And I this also sing. can sing. See? She can sing. Nice. So nice. Pretty awesome. You girls were pretty good in there, I have to say. Pretty good overall, yep. So while we were in there, customer service is nice here, so like, there was a security guard. We asked if they had a trolley, a cart, when we got in. And the security guard went and got us one. And then he like helped us around the whole store get things that we needed. So we got a microwave, which was too big to fit in the cart. So he carried that to the front. And then we asked about sheets and towels and stuff. But all that stuff was on their second floor. So the cart wouldn't go on the second floor. They have an elevator, but I think it wasn't working or something. So he carried all our sheets and towels back down to the register for us. And he got fans for us. Like he was helping us all around the store. And um, people don't really tip here for things like that. Even in restaurants, like people barely tip waiters and stuff. You're only supposed to tip like, if you, if you tip at all, you're only supposed to tip like five tala or 10 tala, 10 tala if it's a really nice restaurant. Otherwise like, if you go to like uh, something equivalent to like Olive Garden or something like that, if you go to some place like that, you're supposed to tip 20% in, in the States or 15% in the States, but here you don't tip anything for that. Maybe maybe one tala, which is 40 cents, or two tala, 80 cents. But if you go to a really nice restaurant, like a place where you're gonna spend 500 tala, so you're gonna spend $250 or something like that, then you tip 10 tala. So it's pretty crazy how small the tips are minimum wage here in Samoa is uh, the dollar US per hour so um, that's two dollars and fifty cents tala so you get ten ten tala for a tip that's a pretty good tip that guy that followed us around for the last like 15 minutes or 20 minutes actually it's been longer than a half hour 40 minutes oh because the other thing is when it came to around to five o'clock the lights started going off and stuff but they're like no take your time take your time we just you just, we're just not letting anybody else in and so it's not like the American stores where the American store and it's probably because we're Balangi and we're spending money and they know we're spending money our bill over there was uh, 1350 Tala which is like 450 bucks or something like that um, and the reason why uh, it was so much money because we just have, we have to buy everything all over again. We have to buy a colander, laundry baskets, knives, microwave, microwave towels. fans, towels, sheets, blankets, <laughs> they didn't have blankets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they didn't have blankets. I mean, it's, it is Samoa. The lady's like, uh, what? Who wants a blanket? What a blanket for? It's 90 degrees. It's nice experience in the store. They were nice. We got a lot of things that we had on our list to get. Still missing a few things. No, we ripped it. Oops. Um, just turning on the windshield wipers instead of his blinkers again. <laughs> that was a common problem last time we were here and in New Zealand. You girls like our trip to the store? Yeah. <laughs> Benjo, what did you get? I got this cosmic jet racer. If you don't know what that is, it's um, this like racer car. If you get two, you can race them. And you blow up the balloon part, which is inside. Oh, that looks awesome. You blow it up and then um, you may when you blow it up, you science. attach it onto the back and like let go and you'll squeeze all the air out. It looks fun. Last year looks awesome. Made Zara's going to Young Women's for her first time tonight. He's trying to find this little boy who was selling something called Fa'apapa, which is like um, 
some sort of flour mixed with coconut milk that they cook in the umu in the banana leaves and it's so it's like this little tiny loaf like about this big and you just break it off and eat it but it's kind of a sweet bread the girls all really like it, it was really good he's trying to see if that little boy's still selling fa pa pa So this is the fa pa pa. It's just wrapped in banana leaf and put into the umu. So that's why it's all charred and stuff. The banana leaf is to protect it, and, but <clears throat> it becomes brittle. And so this is the inside of it. So they obviously didn't do a good enough job protecting the fa pa pa because it's not supposed to be all burnt and charred like that. I would have bought more from them, but I knew that a lot of them were burnt because I could see them through the the banana leaf so your mom likes it burnt though yeah it's kind of a thick thick bread it's almost the consistency of like a thick cornbread yeah kind of like a cornbread or, or like a like a cake or something but mm. it's so good it's usually kind of moist but because they burnt it all and stuff it's not as moist it's made out of it's made out of flour and sugar coconut milk and coconut milk more sugar than anything that's why it's so good but <laughs> You can see. Can you hear it? It's, it's really, really hard. It's like cement on this part. Watch. See? No damage. Ammo's really cute. She calls it pa pa pa. I want some pa pa pa. She loves it. What? Do you want some ammo? What is it? What's it called? Noli was double fisting it yesterday. What's it called, Ammo? You don't want to say? I know it's called Pa Pa Pa. You want some, Noli? <laughs> She's beachy. I tried to give Noli some just like 10 minutes ago, but she was too mad at me, so she wouldn't take when it. You were gone. Now she's Now she's <laughs> pounding it. It's good, huh, pretty baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking it away. <laughs> no, my thirsty. Can you drink this water? No. Don't ammo. No, baby. Wait, Wait till we get to the car. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record. It's your sugar cane, huh? Okay, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's like a giant caterpillar. <laughs> oh yeah, <we> <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> it blows legs everywhere. Is it good? Yeah. An intense game of foosball over Stop here. Stop it! like Joel and Floyd, the saboteur. <laughs> Where'd that just go, Joe? Girls on the saddles. Yeah. Be careful. It reminds me of Florida because my cousins um, have all these horses on their property. They have a really big property. Nice for y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the ball. Still count wins when they got it on record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin' on record, off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote on record, off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. <laughs>